Diego, you are truly as acting national secretary general, uh, Mr. Uh, Nelson Zuya, who is the national chairperson, Honorable Joshua Kutuni, who is the deputy secretary general, uh, Wamboi Yeshoro, who is uh, the uh, executive director, Advice Mudalo, who is the youth leader, remain in office, notwithstanding the political pronouncement made in the said meeting. Further, you will recall that the National Disciplinary Committee found that Honorable Joel Maya Kioni and uh, Honorable David Murade guilty of the indiscipline in their decision that was ratified by the National Executive Committee, NEC, that sat on the 19th of May, that is last Friday, effectively expelling them from the membership of the party. In accordance with Article 61F of the party constitution, they ceased to be members of Jubilee on the 19th of May, 2023. The participation by the said uh, former officials in any Jubilee activity is of no consequence. It is not binding on the party. We wish to inform our MCAs who have received any communication from the former Secretary General to ignore such communication. It is unfortunate that the former president has chosen to be on the wrong side of history by defying a legitimate decision of the party organ, and more so, he ceased being the party leader of Jubilee Party on the 14th of May of, of March, sorry, 2023, as per Section 6 of the Presidential Retirement Benefit Act. He has no powers to call or chair any party meeting. Such impunity is unacceptable and illegal and attains the reputation of the office of the retired president. The party will not shy from taking further disciplinary action against the former party leader in order to restore its dignity and reclaim its rightful place in the country. We call upon our members to be patient as we wait the determination of IDRC on the aforesaid dispute after which NEC will meet to execute its mandate relating to convening of the Special National Delegates Convention pursuant to its resolution passed on the 10th of February 2023. We expect that a properly convened Special National Delegate Convention will be held not later than 15th of July 2023 signed by the Acting National Secretary General. As you have seen, and I have earlier said, we have 28 members of parliament in the National Assembly and five senators and one Yala member of parliament. That makes 34. It is only four members of parliament who attended that political rally. That one tells you that 30 of our members of Parliament did not see it fit to attend that, uh, that, that political line. Secondly, we have 29 NEC members. Out of the 29 NEC members who are supposed to be part and parcel of the NDC, only two attended that purported NDC. That one tells you that that political line is of no consequence, it has no force of law, and I, do, I even wonder where they are going to take the returns. So I want to give uh, the chair an opportunity to at least say something. We also give uh, the MCAs an opportunity. So kwa kifupi, ni kusema kwamba mkutano ambao umefanyika leo katika uga wa falasi, fahari falasi wanakibia. Hauku wa mkutano wa NDC ya chama, ulikuwa ni mkutano wa kisiasa kwa sababu taratibu zile zinawekwa katika katiba yetu hazikufuata wale walibao walikuwa kwa huo mkutano wakisema hao di officials wa party walitoka kwa chama kitambo kwa sababu tulikuwa na mkutano wa NEC ambao ulifukuza mheshimiwa Kioni ukafukuza mheshimiwa Murade na pia aliyekuwa rais wa nne aliwacha kuwa kiongozi wa chama cha Jubilee mezi sita baada ya kuacha kazi Na hiyo ilikuwa tarehe kuminane 
mwezi wa tatu mwaka huu na ni jambo la kufedhehesha sana kuona kwamba aliyekuwa rais